Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for replacing the mass airflow sensor on this 2015 Toyota Highlander. Now let's get started. So what might be some of the symptoms of a faulty mass airflow sensor? Typically, only thing you're gonna see is maybe the engine revving high or it seems like it, it's starving for gas. And, and, and in other words, you're gonna have a lean fuel mixture or a rich fuel mixture. And that's gonna trigger a check engine light with P codes P0100, 101, 102, and 103. Okay, that's, that's basically it. That's what's gonna happen here. As you see, this is the location of the sensor itself. And so let's go ahead and move forward with a little bit of troubleshooting and the removal and replacement of this sensor. So you're gonna need a flat tip screwdriver. I've got a toothbrush. I've got a little carburetor cleaner and that's about it. So I've, loose, I've taken off one of the screws already. There's the clip, I'm removing the electrical clip. I've loosened up the cross tip screw. The second one, I'm gonna place it right up there. I'm gonna lift out this sensor, bring it in a little bit closer. And you can see right in here, there's two electrodes right there, and then there's one on the side. Occasionally, actually, if you look, there's an electrical wire in there. And occasionally what you can do, this is very dirty, say for instance, uh, for whatever reason, you pull off your air, your air filter and it's extremely dirty. I mean, it's really bad. Or maybe you had a uh, aftermarket air filter where you would actually add oil to it. And I won't say the name, but there are filters that you add oil to them. And sometimes you can add too much oil. Well, if you add too much oil, that, air, that oil is going to blow by the filter and it's going to get ca caught on this on this uh, mass airflow sensor. And so what you can do is you can spray a little carburetor cleaner on here. If you see the oil, you, you, you'll know the problem. Clean it off really good. And here's the trick. You have to let this dry completely. So I would leave it out of the car for at least a half an hour before putting it back in, okay? That, and maybe you clean it twice, check it, and you wanna really check for moisture residual moisture in, in this area right here and in that area right there. So you really like set it out in the sun maybe. So that's just showing you how you could possibly reuse this sensor if there was some oil by using an aftermarket oiled filter. If after all that you've determined that the sensor is still bad, this then you would simply replace this sensor and install the new one and I'll show you how to do that right now. Then just put it back in there. Push it down. Careful, these screws are very short, easy to drop. Okay. and then you install the electrical connector. So, just circling back really quick. If you get those P codes, check this item. If there's oil, oil built up on it, try to clean it first, because that could solve your problem. If that doesn't solve your problem, you may need to replace the sensor itself, and I just showed you how to do that. Okay, that wraps up my tips. I hope you guys found them to be helpful please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.